just for two RMB, it's worth it. You scan to make payment. If you want to use cash, you can pay by cash here. So I just bought two tokens going out. So you put it in and it opens. Due to the movement, we need to find something to hold on to. Our first metro ride. Okay, what's up, what's up, what's up? Your morning, your hello, your sleepy, your better wake up. Welcome back to Delicia Life and Travel. If it is your first time here, I just want to say a big welcome. Please consider subscribing and following me on all social media platforms. Delicia Life and Travel. And to all of my returning subscribers, my beautiful explorers, I just want to say thank you for always being here with me. Today we are going to use the Guangzhou Metro. Using the Metro is one of the fastest means of transport in China. For Guangzhou, most of the Metro they run underground. So I'll be taking you guys to see how it works here in Guangzhou. Stick with me, follow me, ride with me. Let's go together and enjoy this trip. You will get to learn something. At least when you come here, you know how to take the metro, how to use the metro. Okay, so let's go. Are you ready for this experience? Follow me, let's go. <laughs> so, Using the metro in Guangzhou, you need to know several things. One of them is, which is very major, the line, the metro line that you are going to, you need to know. And you need to know the exit, where you will get out when you reach to that particular, you know, line. So I'm going on line five, but I think I'm currently on line two or so. Well, let's see. Sure. You have to pay keen attention to the reading board because they will, they will have a reading board. So you have to pay keen attention and know your line. Like I said, the line that you are going on is very important. Know it. Sometimes the line may not be on the board that you are looking at. You won't see it, right? but you will have to maybe interchange with another line. So you have to be watchful about that. Yeah. You're going to see anybody, anybody invites you over, tell them, what's the line? Line two, line three, line four, line five. Do I have to interchange? Let them tell you. It's very easy. It's a basic day, so there might be a lot of people on the metro, on the train. Now the difference with this one and like the fast train is that this one they don't you know kind of limit how many persons get on it. So there might be people sitting and there might be people standing. It's going to be a whole lot. But on the fast train you have seats assigned to people. It feels so warm under here. <laughs> When I need a call upstairs or above. Hello, she's like, do you have it on me? Ha! She wants to move her in it. But it's not even on her. But yeah, you gotta be mindful, you know, how you just take out a camera and put it out on people, just the public. So you have to be mindful. Sometimes they don't know that I'm being recorded. The thing is on them. <laughs> until they kind of turn around and realize that, oh, okay, it's on somebody. Okay, as I was explaining to you people, you see here we have line two and line five. And the both of them are going, like line two, you see the arrow right beside line two. So you just got to know where exactly you are going. And the metro is so easy, it's so fast. <laughs> no traffic business here. You're just moving, going. Yeah. You leave all the hula baloo up there traffic, 
from cars and everything, you leave them up above. <coughs> and before you go through, if you have your bag or anything, you have to put it through security. I just passed through security. I had to check my bag in. So we are going to buy a token right now. They use, you know, token on the metro. They also have a card. So if you already know how to get the card, that's it. So now I'm on the Guangzhou Metro and I'm going to line five. And then I look for where I'm going, which is Shelby. And I'm buying two tickets. So I'm going to pay by the WeChat Pay. Now you scan it, you scan to make payment and the token will fall off. You can also pay by cash. If you want to use cash, you can pay by cash, cash here. So I just bought two tokens. Yep. All you do with this, you place it right here and you get your way through. And then you gotta watch the arrow. Watch the arrows. So line two is going this way. If you are going to line two, you go this way. I'm going on line five. So we continue with the arrow to go. So you just got to really know your line and know where you are going. And my arrow is pointing this way and on the right. It's very easy. Once you know your line, you know, exit points, it's very easy. And where we are right now, Guangzhou Railway Station. I'm going Xiaobe, Xiaobe Lu, which means Xiaobe Road. It's a very popular, it's very popular with, you know, a lot of buyers that come here. A lot of people, you just got to know Xiaobe. If you've been to China before and you've visited Xiaobe Lu, let me know in the comment section. Have you visited Xiaobe? Xiaobe Lu Jin Lu. <laughs> yeah. So many people, eh? <laughs> yeah. It's very long. <laughs> it's a long ride. But it's very, very convenient. It's very convenient. Just for two RMB. It's worth it. So someone asked in the comment section, what does RMB mean? RMB means RMB and it's the Chinese money. So I'm going to Xiaobei, right? And you see right now we are at Guangzhou Railway Station. And you see the arrow is pointing next where we are going. And it says Xiaobei. So be very, 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 you know, smart on that to read it. But if you go across there, you will see that the next one, even though it's at Guangzhou Railway Station, but the next one that we'll be going to will be something else. So you have to pay attention to the arrow. It's very important. Normally, they're supposed to allow the people who are coming out of the metro to come out first before we go in. But man... <laughs> Okay. So, I've found somewhere. And if you are reading this also, let's look at it. You see, we are here and we are going here. All of these places is already done with. So we are heading this way. So this is where we are going from where we are to the next station, which is Xiaobei. It's about maybe three minutes on the metro, 
but it's so fast. You guys will soon see us getting all of the metro right <laughs> in a short while. We'll be getting out soon. Due to the movement, we need to find something to hold on to. They have all of these rails that you can hold on to, these, you know, hand rails that you can hold for safety. Because sometimes it actually moves with force, you add a goal and they move, move. So you hold on. <laughs> it's hard not putting a camera on them. I don't want it to be the focus, but you know, just to show what's happening. Okay, so I want to move to the center. I know somebody be checking their time or their watch or whatever to say, and you say that three minutes, three minutes in pass, yeah? <laughs> Ta da, we are here. So it's as easy as this, fast, convenient, <laughs> and very clean. So now we are getting off, excuse me. And like I told you, you need to know which exit. The exit is very important. So I'm going to exit D. And here we have A and D going this way. So I'll be heading this way. The reason it's important to know your exit is because if you go to another exit, there's a possibility that it won't put you to where exactly you want to go. And then you will have to either go around or maybe get on a taxi if the, distance, the distances are far away. So if you know the exit exactly, then it will put you out right to where you want to go. I want to go to exit D and there's a McDonald's right as soon as you climb you know out of the metro there's a McDonald's right there it's around that terrain that I'm going I'm not going to the McDonald's though but you know that's like my cue <laughs> riding this escalator it's a hustle for so many people. I remember some time back when I first came here and I was working, toting suitcases all over the place, backpacks, suitcases. Man, it wasn't easy. It took me time and I learned it. That's why you see right now, like I can just step, tweet, 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 tweet. No fear because I went through it. It was a process for me. Exit D. And then, when you are getting out, the token, you put it in. Remember the first time? Remember the first time we put it here to enter? Now we are going out. So you put it in and it opens. Watch, oh, you didn't see that just now, she almost fell. So watch me getting on this thing again. Like, I'm super duper with Irena. <laughs> I give it trimly, sir. And I really don't like to hold the rails. Holding the rails is very important, but I don't like it because imagine in a daytime over thousands of people holding this one rail, even though they will still come and wipe it, but I just don't like it. It's just me. And I know I should, you know, hold it for safety. So remember, I said we're getting out of the McDonald's. Yeah, it is. Ta da! <laughs> so this completes our first Metro ride. Hope you had a great time with me. Don't forget to subscribe and follow all of the pages. I love you. Bye bye.